So where are we at right now? I don't know where we're at. <laughs> You're asking me these tough questions. <laughs> See, we're in New Mexico. I know we're in New Mexico. The kid that just came through here, he told me the name, but I immediately forgot it. So we're like outside of Albuquerque. Uh, we had a breakdown on the brand new toter the other, yesterday. God damn it, Becky, we're losing power. That electrical problem, we got it fixed, but it threw us. Threw us off a day. So now we're uh, hanging with these laid back country folk and wherever we are in New Mexico. <laughs> but no, we're just filling up. And then uh, we got, what time is it saying? Like four o'clock? We'll it was like today? four, that was a little while after I looked. Yeah, after I stopped, yeah. So I think we're probably pushing past the five o'clock. But the toter was running like 75 yeah. miles an hour yeah, on the highway. We're pushing it. So. Yeah, it was looking pretty good. So yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're still quite a ways out. Uh, we have all that. All this stuff we're going to be doing tomorrow, I'll just kind of cramming into one day before we start racing. and uh, But that's going to be a pretty cool thing that we're up to there, so we'll check in next time. Keep on trucking. All right, guys, so now we're here in Great Bend. We're gonna unload and uh, go out and do some stuff. We got a little fun that we're having today on the side. We're actually shooting a whole separate new video. Not gonna talk about that just yet. Uh, hint, Donald Walters. And we're uh, gonna unload this. I wanted to guys show you guys real quick. I never really showed you. This is kind of a cool trailer. I know you guys like this type of stuff. So this is a Futura trailer. Um, it has a couple winches on it, one for towing up, and there's also a winch in there and uh, they're out of New Zealand. They're pretty unique. I had to get this because the Viper is such a low pain in the ass car here. We actually still need to get uh, some little bricks and blocks here to, to help get it off because it's still even that low. Got a cool little battery charger and there's your winch right there and it's a pretty good little system. It's always, I've had it for a few years and it's never, battery hasn't gone bad or anything. Get out. All right, guys, so we, uh, we're gonna go down to the, I guess it'd be the main town square here. There's a bunch of cars around their main uh, square. So uh, we're gonna take the Viper down there. Chris uh, with Prime, he's gonna follow us and uh, just saw more, saw more bird shit. Love that rattle. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, did you see that bird that shit on my car? Cause if uh, you do, I'm gonna, I need to have a talk with him. Yeah, I just, I just talked to him. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. I For did. me? I took care of it. Thank you. Does this have back seats? Can he ride with you? Yeah, yeah let's get under there. Just yeah. tuck under the cage. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up to the front one. No. What's up? Good. How you doing? Good, you sir. Hanging out. Uh, absolutely. Got you a see you guys. Deal going there. Every time. <laughs> Always got something crazy. Yeah. Always got something. Got yeah. Think people will know that's chilling with Chet? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Money. <laughs> Money. I wanna, I'm gonna try to see if I can get really good to 175. They always say it's aerodynamically limited. Like I guess the stocks go 200, but with the aero, it drops down to 175. Is that right? It makes that yeah. much difference. Yeah. But it looks that much better. I know, well I was like, should I pull my front splitter, which I'm probably gonna regret that I don't. Cause I have a shorter, they give you a stubby one for the road, but the front one looks so Yeah, buddy! Woo! Oh, we, dude, we drove yeah. straight from Flagstaff. Yeah, I saw you passed out. He was laughing all week because he said, dude, why you get spooked every time we do something? Like, oh, like, the whole, he oh, was the scared whole of deer the whole time. He was scared of dark roads. Cody's scared of, <laughs> Cody's scared of tornadoes. <laughs> so what bracket do you, what do you guys run? I don't know yet. Oh. Don't know. It's a new combination. Last year. Oh, what do you got now? 12, well, pop the, the hood. Right. Let me see it. Oh, it's ugly. oh nice. LS. LS six later. Got 224,000 miles on it. Hell yeah. Pickup, three Hell pickup. yeah. That's the way to do it. Then to yeah. keep the stock hood, I had to cut the top of the intake off, turn it upside down, weld it back in. So, okay, yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. did you get some real time with it? Uh, no. On the motor yet? I, I didn't, no. 
Nope. Well, that's what race week's for. That's exactly right. This is yeah. <laughs> Today was the test, test, and then we were driving around. It's all good. <laughs> they said the place to eat is behind the Perkins. There's a steakhouse. Yeah, next to the Oh, where's that? Right on the main street. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Strip club. Next to the strip club. <laughs> you got you <laughs> they don't have a strip club here. No, they, they do. You don't want to go there. Shut your mouth. Now, you said, now we do want to You're go. You're so there. No, they don't. Right, dude? Just like, <laughs> what the hell is going on? I like, it's 10,000 population. They got a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, with Project Prime, you brought your newly outfitted BMW. Oh, yeah. And it's obviously, it literally looks like a Hollywood vehicle. You know, something you would see, you know, chasing vehicles down the freeway in some Michael Bay movie. Oh, yeah. Does that inspire you? Like that dude, type of stuff? I mean, yeah. Yeah. Anything cinematic that's like the craziest shot ever. Yeah, that's what I'm into. Did you uh, did you find some cars that were similar setups, or was this completely your entire invention? Well, you don't see a ton of chassis mount setups. Okay. You see a ton of uh, suction cup setups, well, which yeah. still work great. Right. But I knew we were going to be using this at the Freedom Factory. Mm -hmm. Every time I'm there, I break something. Okay. So I was like, you know what? This is stuff is way too expensive for us to break. Right. So let's not break it. Let's yeah. do the chassis. Let's not have it, the suction cup fall off. Exactly. <laughs> and not get the shot. And Garrett's mad. And then yeah, I'm like, with your GoPro. There you go. <laughs> so uh, walk me through this whole this whole setup. And, and it's a uh, fully remote control from in the car? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, no, it's pretty sick. So okay. it's at, it, it really looks the part. And it... Uh, was it a custom order or is this like a like you could buy this brand so somewhere? we actually bought this arm about a year ago so we've been mm -hmm. saving up to do this for about a year okay um we got this last june before another epic trip we did and we weren't able to afford the gimbal at that time so mm -hmm. we finally saved up enough to get the gimbal yeah and um we what, got what camera, camera you have in there this is actually an old school fs5 um with all the firmware upgrades that allows you to but it's 4k um, yeah 4k yeah, pro res good. raw all that stuff so mm -hmm. it's it's definitely up to date still, mm -hmm. um, but we do, we do have a new camera on order, and it should be there by the time we get back. Yeah. So this is this whole this whole piece is your gimbal that you. Yeah. So this is the gimbal. It's a three-axis gimbal, so full roll, mm -hmm. and tilt control right. from a PS4 controller inside the car. Oh wow. So all of this you actually can't control, but you can mm -hmm. mount it in different directions. Okay. So if I want to point this back, I'll probably mount this arm at a 90 degree. Okay. And then have you rip by. Okay. You know? And this whole thing will un unbolt yep. from underneath and then you'll have the coming up out of the hood still or does that completely get, yeah, so does that, that kind of stay? That's just two 13 millimeter bolts on each side mm -hmm. on top of the strut uh, mm -hmm. towers. And this cool. is just four grade eight and uh, yeah. a drop plate off the, it's the real the deal. Frame rails, so. And then you, uh, then you also can mount the back. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't want to limit ourselves to just the front. Right. So with right. the back, I did bring extra oil. <laughs> it's still a BMW. Yeah, it's still a BMW. Extra oil, high pressure fuel pump. Yeah, oil change a day. It's like my uh, my my Mazda rotary I had. Yeah, yeah same thing. Come on. They're designed to do gallons that. of oil. N54, <laughs> um, right? Yeah, 100. Yeah, so it's basically the same setup back here. Mm -hmm. We threw on uh, inch and seven eight side gussets, so it's super strong laterally. Yeah. yeah. And then. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? We could go a little higher. You know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Put a lighting system over there. Okay. Platform bracket here, and then the pole about eight feet higher. Or we just find shorter girls. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, hey, if that's what you're into, that's cool, bro. Yeah, just just you and I know. I'll order them up. <laughs> yeah, not bad. But yeah, this is super strong. Our goal with uh, Chet is to do at least 120 this trip. 120, rolling rolling yeah. dirty down the uh, cornfields. Yeah. Well. Looking good, bro. I, Thanks, I can't wait. You uh, rolling burnout launch. Just then pulling away, but you yeah, stay with. And it's yeah, just, just like Because you've cool. noticed me when I start doing burnouts and drifting, I'm not very controlled. Yeah. Yeah. So you stuff. might want to get away. It is yeah. a diaper, so. <laughs> you could Yeah. What? Viper? That's a known. I definitely try. People think I'm really good in it. It's just the trash control is on 100% all the time. It just looks good. <laughs> Let's go run around town. I'm down. Let's go do some shots. Do the sun looks cool right now. 100%. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Worst car to see in your rear mirror. 
Like I, I constantly I, think it's a cop. The damn cop car. Every time I see it in the rearview mirror, I'm like, is that? Oh yeah. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> When I was doing that? A little bit right after. <laughs> I did not see a cop. <laughs> On the other side? Yeah. Driving? Yeah. Hmm. It's a great way to meet the cops in town. You know, if you want to meet the local cops, you know, just tell them thank you and appreciate your service. Just do a rolling burnout in your Viper through the middle town. <laughs> Works every time. Right, guys well we finally made it to the track we got all set up we got ourselves a really good spot uh had a fun day in town met a lot of people a lot of local people that uh some people i've been talking to online and uh, it's been nice to just finally put a uh you know a face to a name and and all that so had a great day today everybody's just so nice in this town i always love it here in great bend we also did rip around a little bit we we're trying to meet the local police uh they didn't want to come out and play so Maybe tomorrow we'll find them. So also we're gonna be, uh, we have a little bit of merch, um, had a few shirts run off here. So if you guys wanna come by and meet us out here, we'll have a few shirts for sale for you guys. Uh, got a couple hats as well, not that many, but we'll be able to uh, give you guys some of our first uh, edition merch items. All right guys, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that's another day chilling with Chet.